Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to the channel McNally Money, home of all things stock, investment, and personal finance related. Now for today's video, we've got a special guest for you, the CEO of Gain Therapeutics. There's a lot going on at this organization. I'm excited to talk about it today, but before we do, please take a second, hit the like button, you guys. It's a big help to myself and the channel. If you're not already subscribed, McNally Money, feel free to join. And let me know in the comment section below if you've heard of Gain Therapeutics before, if you're currently holding shares, and what your thoughts were on today's discussion. Now with that being said, let's get into today's video. Okay guys, so that's right. Today's video, we've got a special guest from Gain Therapeutics. We've got the CEO, Matthias Alder, to talk to us a little bit about his company and tell us some of the big developments that happened back in August. So Matthias, thanks so much for being here. We're really looking forward to this discussion. Thank you, Bryce. Really happy to be here and telling your audience a bit more about Gain. It's a really exciting story and we can get right into it. Yeah, you're most welcome. We're happy to have you. So I know this is your first time on the channel. It's our first time talking about Gain Therapeutics. So can you tell us a little bit about yourself and about this uh, organization for viewers who maybe aren't super familiar? Yes, thanks. So I'm I'm the CEO at the company, been with, with Gain for about uh, two years. Um, I've been in the pharmaceutical and biotech industries for the last 30 years, essentially the entirety of, of my career, have a, a long and deep transactional background, a lot of M&A, partnering, licensing deals uh, for and with biotech companies, first at being at a big pharma company and then at the series of biotech companies that I've been at uh, over the last uh, 15 years or so. Great. And I know the biotech space is super exciting. We've covered a number of these on the channel. So Gain Therapeutics specifically, um, what is this company all about? What what platforms do you guys have? Uh, technology? Can you give us a little bit of info there? Sure. So Gain is at its core a, a computational drug discovery company. So we're leveraging uh, AI powered models, uh, uh, physics based models, uh, supercomputing power put it all together in one package that allows us to uh, find new binding sites on proteins that are involved in causing diseases and small molecules that bind there. And we've used that platform to generate the entirety of our uh, product pipeline. And very exciting for us, and I think also for uh, our uh, shareholders and investors, is that the first program discovered with this platform is about to enter uh, clinical trials uh, imminently. And so it's a big transition from being a research and preclinical stage biotech company to becoming now a clinical stage biotech company in an, in an area that is increasingly hot from an investor perspective, which is neurodegenerative diseases, specifically Parkinson's disease. Sure. Yeah, it makes a lot of sense. So I, I like the fact that you threw the AI comment in there because that's definitely a very hot topic right now in any industry. Um, yeah. So my next question was actually going to be what differentiates uh, gain therapeutics from some of the other biotechs. So um, would it be the use of this, this super uh, computing, this AI technology or what really differentiates you guys? I think at the, at the very high level is that we are both uh, a platform company and with our platform, we can leverage that to essentially create new drug development programs at will and very cheaply. The platform is super fast. So we accelerate drug discovery from two plus years to less than three months. It's very versatile uh, in that it, it works in any therapeutic area, any disease uh, that afflicts the human condition. And it's very powerful in that we can not only target the 10% of proteins that are currently the, 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 the target of, of pharmaceutical drugs, we can also target the 90% of proteins that are currently not druggable because nobody can find a binding site on those proteins. And with our platform, we can unlock that huge potential of, of, of targeting space. Um, at the same time, we have this drug, uh, the, drug, uh, the development pipeline and the lead programs that are progressing um, in, in now into clinical studies. So we're generating value both 
on the platform side and the pipeline side, which is creates a bit of a de-risked investment profile for, for our shareholders. Yeah, it definitely does. It's kind of the, the double threat there. And um, what I really, what caught my eye about this company really was that uh, use of the, the uh, artificial intelligence and the high end yeah. um, computation, yeah. right? To, to really find some of these new uh, pipeline, potential pipeline candidates. Now, what would be the standard, uh, Matthias, here if you weren't using this technology? Is it just trial and error or what, what do other companies do to find uh, potential candidates? Right. Uh, so the traditional drug discovery approach is that you create these high throughput screening assays experiments where you have a cell and you run, you know, millions of compounds through that system. Um, but that takes a long time. It takes, you know, about two plus years to do sort of a high throughput screening campaign to, to find a small molecule that has a pharmaceutical effect on a, on a protein drug target. Um, and with our platform, we can speed that up because we're using, we're doing that in, in, in silico. So with computational models, uh, we can accelerate that process uh, to less than three months. So we, we're picking a protein target, start the screening process virtually, and within three months, we have a small molecule in our hands physically that then can be, that has been experimentally validated. So again, it is, it, it, you know, drug discovery, drug development takes eight to 10 years. The first two years are the discovery process, and we cut that down to, to less than three months. Incredibly uh, impactful. And we are one of the companies in this field of computational drug discovery, uh, of drug, computational drug discovery that really change the way pharmaceutical products are being developed. Yeah, it really is incredible. That's what I love about this job is is getting to talk to super mm -hmm. smart people like yourself about about this cutting edge technology. Um, so if I'm hearing this right, it's really the speed and the scope at which you guys can uh, look at these various proteins, hey? Yes. Yeah. It's the speed and the scope, the, the, the breadth of what we can cover and the ability, I mean, the, and it's the cost as well, right? If for building our own pipeline, it's it's very inexpensive and very fast, and so that's uh, we can use that both for ourselves, but we're also now leveraging that to start working with uh, other people in the in other companies in the, in the pharmaceutical space, pharma companies, smaller biotech companies who want to also accelerate their drug discovery efforts, but don't have the ability to do so without uh, the platform that we have. Yeah, no doubt. So potentially some licensing agreements and things like that, eh? Very much so. Okay. Yes. Okay. And that we're about to get to that next phase because people always say, yeah, you know, you can pull together computer models. Does it actually work in real life? And now we have with that lead program moving into the clinic, we have that proof in our hands that our platform can produce very valuable drug, drug development programs. Yeah, no doubt. Okay, well, that's a great segue. So then let's talk about that proof. Um, can you tell us about your CTX uh, target identifi uh, identification platform? Yes. So uh, C CTX, as we, we call it, um, is that, uh, that computational drug discovery platform. And essentially what we do is we're taking a 3D structure of, of a protein that's involved in causing a disease and we're running that through our platform and find these novel binding sites that nobody else has been able to find before somewhere on that protein surface. And then we're doing the screening, virtual screening and find small molecules that fit into these uh, binding sites. And because we're using um, uh, physics based methods, we don't, we can really look at any protein in the human body uh, because we don't need a lot of pre-existing data to to teach our models to 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 uh, to to be able to do to that evaluation assessment of the protein surface and so it's it's uh you know that allows us really to go against any protein in the human body is that physics-based approach and then we're taking these virtual uh molecules that we have discovered with the platform and run them through our internal labs to confirm that in real life experiments uh, it turns out they, these molecules are actually doing what they what the computational models predict them to do, and we have a very high hit rate uh, compared to traditional methods. I mentioned high throughput screening before. 
you get having spent you know two years and running millions of compounds through that system you get a 0.1 percent hit rate with our platform in less than three months we have a 14 percent or more hit rate so of the 100 or so molecules that we physically test about 14 to 50 of them turn out to be actual binders with an actual effect and so it's a very impactful um you know platform that allows us to find these molecules that we then take forward in in the development like 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 in the in the regular step forward in terms of optimization of these hits and then taking them into preclinical development sure yeah remarkable comparison there so uh next question for you matthias i know you guys announced some pretty big news back in august um hard to believe it's already september but last month uh so walk us through that what what was the big announcement and what does that mean more importantly for gain therapeutics yeah thanks so the the announcement what we've announced is really the presentation of new uh data from animal models from parkinson's disease animal models and we presented that data at the the uh, uh, uh parkinson's conference in uh, in copenhagen and the exciting part well there's uh, several exciting parts about the announcement that we've made um one is that we had there were two different animal models that we've shown uh, the effect of our drug and the way the drug works is that we are targeting a protein that if it doesn't work properly um, it causes the the buildup of toxic materials in, in the cells or waste materials in the cell that ultimately leads to cell death and what we have shown across a range of different measurements and, and, and biomarkers is that we have the ability in both these animal models, we've been able to reduce these toxic materials. We've been able to protect the brain cells from dying off. And as a result, we've seen an improvement on so the Parkinson symptoms that the, these animals have had uh, in, in, in these tests. And then as a new, and this is tests that we've done before, we've announced before, and they're very consistent. We have done multiple tests in cell-based assays and animal models to prove that the drug actually does what we say it does. And the latest thing that we have then looked at is that we've looked at an emerging biomarker of neurodegeneration, which means that it's a, it's a protein that if you have brain cells dying off in, your, in, in the brain, uh, they break apart and they release a protein that ultimately you can measure in the blood and that, that the, the protein is called neurofilament light chain or NFL. And what we've been able to, and that only shows up in the blood if you have a neurodegenerative disease that causes brain cells to die. Okay. And what we've been able to show <clears throat> in, in one of these animal models is that we are actually reducing the level of NFL of that protein biomarker in, in blood in, in these animals, meaning that we have a direct evidence that we are protecting uh, the brains of these animals from that the brain cells of these animals from from dying off, which means with a drug uh, applied to Parkinson's disease, we have the ability to slow or even stop the progression of Parkinson's disease, so a disease modifying effect. And so that's an exciting, very direct proof of, of, of how the drug works and that it does work in our animal models. And now we're excited to take this drug into the clinic and start testing it in, in humans to confirm that we have that uh, same effect. Yeah, very exciting stuff and definitely a huge for uh, anyone that's unfortunately suffering from Parkinson's. Um, now, just to confirm, so all of this drug development, the animal testing, all of that was possible because of that uh, CTX or CTX platform, correct? Correct. Yeah. I mean, the, the, the molecule that we have discovered was exactly through the method we talked about before, looking at that protein, scanning the surface, identifying the binding site, finding a small molecule, confirming that it works in these, uh, you know, preclinical studies and now taking it into clinics of direct line. And that's the kind of value that we have with the platform in terms of creating highly differentiated new drugs for high areas of high unmet medical need.
Yeah, no kidding. When you start to think about the number of proteins, the number of different diseases, and yeah, it's it's staggering, right? So you're yeah. you're doing good work there. Um, now I know there's a lot going on, so this might be a bit of a tough question, but what would you say is your company's number one focus at this point in time? Well, I think there's clearly operational aids now is is getting the clinical study up and running and and managing that you know delivering on the timelines that we have outlined to investors we're on a good track and we have established a track record so we've been since last year saying we're going to start the clinical uh, submit the dossier to start the clinical study middle of this year check done that uh, we've said we're going to start the uh, the clinical study shortly thereafter. We're well on track to actually deliver that milestone as well. Um, and then we have exciting new milestones coming up in terms of actual progression in that clinical study. So it's a it's a safety study looking at um, healthy volunteers first. And so we're having different steps in that study that we're going to hit and can make announcements. So it's a lot of excitement that we can let start build up on on this on the potential success of of, of this uh, drug development program yeah no so kidding so operationally the, the, the operationally the, the, the key focus in addition we're looking to build out the platform and continue to stay at the cutting edge of this uh ai computational drug discovery field and uh, we're going to have some exciting announcements coming out as well in terms of additional improvements we've been able to make new programming new capabilities new 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 um elements to the platform that make it even make it even more valuable compared to what it already is okay i like that answer and i like the fact that you brought up management delivering on timelines and commitments because um, a lot of our audience is retail investors, and that's definitely important from from our perspective is uh, that level, level of trust that you guys have earned, right? So um, great answer. Thank you for that. And then the final one, uh, why should people invest in GAIN and where can they get more information if, if they want to make that investment choice? Absolutely. So um, the reason why I think there's there's a fundamental reason, which is that we are working on potentially stopping a, a, a very debilitating neurodegenerative disease. It's almost everybody I talk to has either in their direct family or in their circle of friends has been affected by someone having one of these debilitating diseases uh, and investing in gain is a very meaningful contribution to participate in that success that we expect to have with our lead program. Um, in addition, uh, currently, as, as many biotech companies have experienced over the last two years, um, some challenges in terms of the market environment. And so now you can get actually into a stock with a, with a very large upside potential and a limited downside potential because of the share price levels that we're at. And I expect that share price level to change as we're progressing the drug in development and and generating the data that makes people see tangibly that we're actually successful with our drug development program. And so now is a good time to actually look at considering making an investment um, in, in gain. And so that's sort of how I would sort of put that as, as the uh, investment profile and why it makes sense uh we'll always have um uh information coming out and we're gonna have new announcements coming out over the coming uh, weeks and months in terms of the progress both on the pipeline and the platform um so look for press releases obviously have a website and we are publicly traded so sec filings are a good source of of information as well uh, the website is www.gaintherapeutics.com. Okay, great. And I'll make sure to leave the website linked in the video description below, um, along Thanks. with the company information we talked about. And, and I like what you said there. I know CEOs don't talk uh, share price a lot, but the asymmetric uh, risk reward is, is definitely something to take note of. Like you say, a lot of the small cap, micro cap, specifically biotechs have been beaten up over the last couple of years. And uh, there's definitely good value out there. So, um, you know what? I really appreciate your time today. Great interview. I know I learned a lot actually about uh, how the process works and your technology. So that's the point of these, right? And uh, we definitely like to have you back on in the future here, Mateus. So um, appreciate your time and congrats on all the excitement there. 
Thank you very much, Bryce. Pleasure to be here. Look, look forward to coming back.